Hey, 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 TTGW family, welcome back to our channel. We are starting a new study method, which is character study. So if you are new to our channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are one of our faithful followers, welcome back. I pray something is said or done through this study that if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you will click the subscribe button today. And everyone watching will consider to give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification button so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. And finally, you will share this video to help us reach as many people as possible, sharing God's word and how to use different study methods to dive deeper into God's word. So what is character study? It's researching and learning as much as you can about a particular person of the Bible. You may not find information on every section on the printable, and that is okay. Just keep moving forward to complete as much as you can using this template. The template used in these studies were created by us, the TTGW group, and can be found on our blog. And if you look in the description box you, down below, you will find the link to that. So page one consists of, consists of the birth, death, nationality, where did this character live, does this location still exist, strengths, accomplishments, weakness, mistakes, lessons from life, vital statistics, and key verses. Page two consists of friends and why, enemies and why, qualities to imitate, so you'll list the scriptures and the qualities, qualities to avoid, again, you will list the scriptures and qualities. Page three consists of noteworthy events from this character's life. What is this character's role in God's purpose? Questions I have about this character. What I learned from this character's life. Page four consists of family tree and genealogy. This page will require some research. Page five consists of the mother and father family relationships, character's relationship with each family member. Page six consists of siblings, family relationships, character relationships with family, with each family member also. Page seven continues the family relationships, but this time it's with the children. And finally, page eight consists of just additional notes. And as you can see, we are in the month of February. So each month, the printable changes according to the month and different holidays that are in that month. The resources that I use, of course, is Blue Letter Bible app, version to look up scriptures and different translations. Uh, I use the Chronological Life Application Study Bible, the Biblical Encyclopedic Index. Of course, my most favorite, the Apply the Word Study Bible. And finally, Google, you guys. I use Google. I research things. If it doesn't have a scripture to back it up, you know, I kind of see what's opinionated. Um, of course, some things you are not going to find. Some things are unknown. So don't stress if you don't find all the information. Um, as you continue to do word studies, I mean, character studies, you may find out some more information by studying another character that ties into the one that you're currently studying. So definitely don't stress about that, but enjoy, have fun with it, and um, let's continue. So here we're talking about Luke. Luke's birth was in Antioch, Syria, the Roman Empire. I apologize, you guys, if I mispronounce anything. Um, don't hold it against me. His death was March 84 AD, Greece, and Thebes, Boeta. His nationality was Greek. Where did this character live? Antioch, Turkey, in ancient Syria. And Thebes, Thebes, Boeisha. I'm not sure how I pronounced that, you guys. Definitely, I'll look that up. Does this location still exist? What is the name today? Still, it's Antioch, Turkish, um, populous city of ancient Syria, and now a major town of south central Turkey. It lies near the, the mouth of the Orontes River, about 12 miles northwest of Syrian border. His strengths and accomplishments, he was a humble, faithful, and useful companion of Paul, a well-educated and trained physician, a careful and exact historian, writer of the Gospel of Luke and the Book of Acts. Lessons from his life, the words we leave behind will be a lasting picture of who we are. Excellence is shown by how we work when no one is noticing. 
some vital statistics where probably met Paul in Tross. Occupations, doctor, historian, traveling companion, contemporaries, Paul, Timothy, Silas, and Peter. Key verses, Luke chapter one, verse one through four. Many people have set out to write accounts about the events that have been fulfilled among us. They use the eyewitness reports circulating among us from the early disciples. Having carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I also have decided to write a careful account for you, most honorable Theophilus, so you can be certain of the truth of everything you were taught. Luke includes himself in the we section of Acts chapter 16 through 28. He is also mentioned in Luke chapter 1 verse 3, Acts chapter 1 verse 1, Colossians chapter 4 verse 14, 2 Timothy 4 and 11, and Philemon 1 24. But he never really mentions his name, you guys, if you really pay attention to that. So who were his friends? Paul the Apostle. They traveled together, faced adversities together, and labored to promote truth. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12 through 14. Qualities to imitate. And remember, you guys, in the template that I showed you in the beginning, you may not find um, things to write for each section, and that is okay. You just keep moving forward. So qualities to imitate. Qualities were humble. Luke never addresses himself as the author of either of his books. He never addresses himself by name as one of Paul's travel companions, though he does use the term we. He never mentions his profession as doctor. Only Paul does, and he never mentions his brother Titus. Now, in researching, it never says that Titus was his blood brother. And when he mentions him as his brother, it could be like brother in Christ and things like that, like we do today. Scriptures, Colossians 4 and 14, 2 Corinthians 8 and 12, and Acts 1 and 1. He does not mention the sacrifice he made in giving up his medical practice to have with Paul and care for Paul. Instead, he gives much focus to Jesus healing miracles and Jesus as the great healer. Noteworthy events from this character's life, Scripture Colossians 4.14 and 2 Timothy 4.11. Life events, the beloved physician, Paul's last companion. What is this character's role in God's purpose? Luke emphasizes the humanity of Jesus and how he was a friend to sinners. What I learned from this character, Luke was an evangelist, a historian, a physician, a pastor, a missionary, a companion, a brother, and a the theologian. His goal and purpose in writing a gospel was to write exact truth concerning Jesus Christ and the plan of salvation. An infallible history and theology inspired by the Spirit and with God's guidance, that's exactly what he did. And finally, his family relationships. Nowhere in the Bible does it speak of Luke having any siblings, and it also never mentions his mother and father. Others have suggested that Titus was Luke's brother, but there is no, there is not any scriptures that back up, back that up. Titus is mentioned a few times throughout Paul's letters, but nothing concrete on his relationship with Luke. Galatians 2. 1 through 3, 2 Corinthians 2 and 12 through 13, chapter 7, verse 6 through 7, verse 13 through 14, verse 8 and 6, um, verses 16 and 17 and 23, chapter 12, verse 17 through 18, and chapter 8, verse 18, Titus, verse, I mean, chapter 1, verse 4, and 2 Timothy 4, 10. So again, you guys, these are all just research that I have. Definitely, if you have any other um, research that you have and you come across more information, definitely share it with me. Um, I will be more than happy to add more to my character study. This was the first one that I have completed, and I really enjoy it, you guys. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, leave them in the comments, and we will love to see your thoughts and discuss anything remember I am not a biblical teacher or preacher I'm just a young woman studying God's word using different study methods so again I'm always open to any other further research or 
scriptures that can be used to add to the information of the studies that we share here on YouTube. So until the next video, you guys, you guys have a blessed day. Bye.